look at this, love. It's Queenstown. It's a beautiful, clear day, not a cloud in sight. Yet, yeah, where are the people? All the stores are closed. What's going on? They're hiding from COVID. Yep. This is what level four lockdown looks like in the adrenaline capital, the tourism capital, capital, biggest party town in the entire country, Queenstown. New Zealand has received its first ever Delta variant community case. The case being a 58-year-old unvaccinated Auckland man that had visited the Coromandel prior. Yesterday evening, Jacinda announced that all of New Zealand would be going into alert level 4 lockdown as of midnight that same night. That's why Cabinet has met this afternoon and made the decision that New Zealand will move to alert level 4 from 11.59pm tonight. Level 4 will be for initial period of three days, except for Auckland and the Coromandel Peninsula, who we anticipate will likely be at level 4 for seven days. It's been over a year since we've gone to level 4. This go hard, go early strategy has been successful in the past, so this decision from Auntie Cindy comes as a bit of a surprise, but not at the same time. Since then, five cases have been identified, all of which were Delta variant related. I was working in the kitchen of Madame Wu when the news broke. A chorus of that ominous emergency broadcast sound radiated throughout the kitchen from the phones of the chefs and kitchen hands as a robotic voice began speaking to me from my pocket. COVID-19 and save lives everyone is asked to wear a mask and keep a two meters distance from others whenever you leave your home. If you are sick, call your doctor or healthline on 0800 358 5453 for advice about getting tested. Keep on scanning QR codes whenever you leave your home. Practice good hygiene. Wash hands off in services including supermarkets, pharmacies, clinics and pet We quickly began sawing defrosted duck, shrimp and produce in the chiller to try and make it last over the next three days the restaurant would be closed. We left the restaurant with big bags of cooked food that would have been wasted otherwise. Roti bread, two litre containers of rice, chicken and pork. Free food. Oh yes, some more food. Okay, yes please. <laughs> it's funny because you could easily identify the hospital workers living at the hostel because you could see them coming back from work with brown bags heaping with cooked food that would have been thrown out otherwise. The hostel we're staying at will act as its own bubble for at least the next three days. No guests can check in and if you check out, you can't return. With the midnight lockdown looming, two drunk guys insisted they were guests of the hostel, made their way in, went to the kitchen and sat with some guests, making them uncomfortable as they started eating their food. After scurrying they were full of shit, Ling being the night manager rolled up the sleeves and kicked them out as they were breaching our sacred level 4 hostel bubble. <laughs> <laughs> what happened when you told them that they had to leave? I said, uh, you're, you can't provide me what room number you're in, you also can't provide me any names that I have on my registered guest list, so I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. And then one of them was like, oh come on, don't be a bitch mate. And I was like, excuse me, sorry? <laughs> I was like, sorry? And he was like, uh... <laughs> Who needs coffee? <laughs> Mackenzie coffee. Me. Plug. Actually. So I was like, sorry? What did you say? And he was like, oh, I was talking to my mate. I was like, uh-huh. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You're not supposed to be here. We're at level four lockdown. And it's only registered guests here as of midnight tonight. And you are not on my list. And you can't tell me, you can't prove to me that you're actually staying here. So you're, you need to go. They escaped out the fire exit. And they haven't been seen since. Let's hope they don't. They are not seen because Ling's gonna have to lay the smackdown. I, I didn't kill them. I promise. Probably didn't have a place to stay for the night, and were in full panic mode. Didn't want to sleep outside, so they figured, let's try to sneak our way into a hostel and sleep there. Now this is the most unusual sight of them all. There's not a single soul in or around the Fergs, the bakers, the misses, the burgers. Closed. Closed. Hey, Fergus loves you. What sucks is that this three-day lockdown coincides with my two days off from the restaurant, forcing me to cancel all the activities that we had planned for the next two days. The snowboarding night session of a Coronet Peak is off, and we've just got done with a meter of fresh powder, the biggest dump in five years. I had a hot yoga class booked tomorrow, which I'd been waiting two weeks for, but couldn't attend because my work schedule didn't allow it. And Ling and I had dinner reservations Thursday. Scratch that. 
Winter Pride is in about a week's time. It's gonna be a huge week-long event here in Queenstown. Let's just hope that this lockdown doesn't affect that. Well, the good news is we've got three days to binge watch Netflix. Oh, look at the bird! Oh, I'll be here, birdie. Doesn't oh, like you. To be my friend. Walk of shame. Which being in Queenstown, there's no shortage of trails surrounded by stunning panoramic views of snow-capped mountains, lakes and trees. And being in a hostel, there's plenty of people to socialise with. New Zealand has had tremendous success with overreacting at any potential onset of an outbreak, which in the past, this has proven that this method does work with the country the size of New Zealand. Do I read the last part right? Because he has an English accent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but not at the same time. If I like, no, no, that, is yeah, that all right. Yeah, yeah, that the delivery makes more sense. Like, it's it's a bit of a surprise that we went to level four, but, but not, it isn't. At yeah, the same because time. That, historically, Just that's what they've done. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>